everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. And today is the day, the epic 1300 subscriber giveaway. We'll have all the details for that and a whole bunch more on Barber Dave Shaves and Such. everybody it is the day I really want to thank everybody for getting us to 1300 we'll go over the details of the giveaway uh, here at the end of this shave I am going to open this up uh, internationally. However, that being said, um, based on what I'm giving away, I cannot guarantee shipment to another country because I'm not sure exactly. I mean, I have checked the laws and we should be okay. However, different... Um, Locales have different shipping ways. So if an international, I mean, I'd prefer to do CONUS, but if an international contestant wins it, uh, I will mail it. However, you will be responsible for shipping costs. Um, that's the only caveat uh, to that. Now, is the giveaway that I'm doing worth the cost? Well, I would say yes, because it's a one of a kind. But again, we'll go over all that at the end of the shave. So what are we using today? Well, for the brush, we're using the Morrison Fordran Apollina. And this has got a uh, Sabini Badger knot in it. The soap we're using today... is the original Mitchell's Wolfat. I do have some uh, some of the uh, newer stuff coming, and I'm going to try it. I'm going to kind of do a shootout. Uh, also, I do want to mention that my next big giveaway, and it'll be a big one, will be at 1,500. Normally, I've been doing them every 100, but this time I'm going to go ahead and wait until we get to 1,500. So the quicker we get there, the quicker you guys can get some stuff. And then for the 2,000 giveaway, I will say this much. The giveaway will be a bunch of the hobbies that I really enjoy. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know what that is. Today I'm using one of the smoothest razors I have, and that is a CV Helgestrand MK31. One of my favorite razors. It has been honed, 30 on linen. Sixty 
on leather. And just for good measure, an additional 20 on a super curve or convex bench leather strap. And it's just such a smooth, the original honing on this was on uh, Shapton stones for the original. And then I converted it over to a, uh, a Codicule Arkansas edge and then have been uh, bench dropping on the convex so it's really not a super curve um, honing but it uh, takes on some of the characteristics of that with the uh, with the bench drop just more or less refines the edge but the one nice thing about the helge strands is once Uh, once you hone it, there's really no need uh, to rehone. You can touch it up as needed, but I found with these Helge strands and any of the Swedish steel that you really don't need to. They stay incredibly sharp. just a fun razor to use. So hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. This is my Sunday. End up going back to the shop tomorrow. Then we do it all over again. Apologize, I'm a little quieter when I'm using the Helge strands because they uh, they can reach out and reach out and touch you if you're not careful. I will say this, uh, there is going to be three qualifications that you'll need to follow to uh, enter this contest. And considering what I'm giving away, I think that that's a fair a fair trade. And again, if I am opening up internationally, however, if you are outside the continental United States and you do win, uh, 
uh, you will have to pay for the shipping. And we'll go over all that after our shave's done. Just such a fun razor to use. Okay, let's see how much cleanup we're going to need. As always, just a little bit a little bit on the nickel or a little bit more than normal. I think that's just because I skipped a spot. And it's nice to see a big shout out to uh, Bowtie RN. Although he's only shaving three quarters of his face now because he's got a goatee. However... He has successfully been using uh, the flat blading technique, which I think is awesome. Okay. Oh, absolutely beautiful. 
See what the animal says. Yeah, the Allen didn't have much to do today, so let's get cleaned up here real quick. One thing about this brush, uh, it for for the cost that I spent on this brush. Um, it is a, it was a love-hate relationship for a long time. These Sabini knots have a tendency to be huge lather hogs, depending on the loft that you set on these. I think the loft on this could have been set just a bit higher uh, to prevent it from being such a lather and a water hog. But um, it's a beautiful brush. The tips have gelled really nice. But yeah, it's a beautiful brush. I love it. Okay, today was more, you know, since it was our 1300 subscriber giveaway and I'm slowly but surely, well, pretty quick here, I'll be sitting at, I think just over 5,000 uh, straight razor shave. I uh, wanted to make it very barber-esque. Uh, so for the witch hazel tea, we're gonna be using Thayer's lemon. And I did use the CBL apo apothecary pre-shave oil. It's kind of become part of my routine. Uh, you know, obviously in the shop, I do a hot towel and some essential oils, but that uh, the fact that you can roll this on and just rub it into your face, it really has make it, made it a bit of a difference. Let that dry down for a bit. And for our aftershave today, uh, this is kind of a, a smorgasbord of stuff. We're using CBL uh, Apothecary Aftershave Lotion in the Barba. This is a wonderful, wonderful barbershop scent. Not too powdery, because I know a lot of barbershop scents, people have a tendency to lean towards the talc. And this has got that in this, but this also has that 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 fragrance of barbicide, barbasol, um, shaving cream coming out of a hot lather machine. And it's uh, it's perfect. So obviously sticking with the barbershop theme, we're going to go with Clubman uh, talc today as that's what I use in the shop pretty much exclusively. I may use different aftershaves uh, such as Parasso and uh, my own, you know, Ombres. But uh, for the talc, it's pretty much Clubman. Why? Because it's neutral. Believe it or not, there are a lot of people that are... Uh, sensitive to fragrances uh, and stuff like that. So the nice thing about Clubman is it's very neutral. In fact, I've got a couple of clients that for the aftershave, I actually use uh, a cleansing alcohol. Um, it's not even, not even an aftershave because they can't take any of the uh, fragrances. Okay, and the big dog on the porch today uh, for the uh, fragrance will be Yves Saint Laurent Rive Gauche Pour Homme, the original in the Barbasol can. This was designed to be literally a barbershop in a can. Uh, fine American blend has copied this. It is good, but it's not the original. And this is getting harder and harder to find. Once again, especially in this, it's another unobtainium. Okay, the time has come. Drum roll, please. And hopefully you've stuck it out this long. Okay. Uh, thanks once again. I cannot thank all of you enough for supporting the channel, uh, getting us to 1,300 subscribers. We obviously want to go a lot further than that. Um, however, uh, it is very, very much appreciated. So for that, we're going to do a, pretty much an epic uh 1,300 subscriber giveaway. This is from my personal collection. Now, here are the rules. One, you need to be a subscriber here on this channel. And yes, we will be checking. Two, you need to be a member over at the Shaving Cadre. So right down here, make sure you go over and become a member at the Shaving Cadre. Three, you must also be a subscriber to Drinks and Daves. So search for it on YouTube, become a subscriber. Now I will check all these. We are going to run this contest between now and Sunday. I will do the... Uh, the picking of the uh, winner on Sunday, and I hopefully get that mailed out to you on Monday. 
So those are the three things. Let's recap. Number one, you need to be a member of the Shaving Cadre. Two, you need to uh, be a subscriber to Drinks and Daves. And three, you need to be a subscriber right here on this channel. And then other than that, just say I'm in in the comment section of this video and you're in. So this was a tough one for me, but um, I said yesterday that I do not feel we own our razors, especially the vintage ones. The new ones, yeah. But the vintage razors, I don't believe we own. We're custodians. We're custodians of the history of shaving. We're custodians of the history that each and every one of those razors uh, partook in. I mean, I've got one coming that is my grail. And uh, what history does it have? And, the, and to me, when you're holding a razor in your hand, uh, where did this come from? What was the history, especially the vintage ones like the Helgestrands? Uh, it, 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 there's something tactile for this. I, I, I'm a Star Trek nerd, and I remember uh, in um, one of the Star Trek movies with Patrick Stewart, uh, him and Data were down a, a, at a missile, and Picard put his hand on the missile, and, and Data could not understand what he was talking about. He goes... It, it's a tactile feel that puts you there. It puts you the history and everything that goes along with it. So that's why. So for that reason, dun, da, 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 I am giving away from my own personal collection a CV Helgestrand MK30. Now, this is the 4 8 version. Uh, it is in beautiful shape. You cannot see it. Uh, you may not be able to see it. It is a fully etched blade, and uh, it says Elskituna Boden. Um from Sweden. Now this one's a little bit different. This one does have ivory scales, but, or faux ivory scales rather, but right here, this is what makes it one of a kind. When I had this razor rescaled, I had the person who did it put the Swedish Air Force flag for obvious reasons, uh, because I love the Air Force. But I don't use this razor, and I feel that it's time to pass it on. Something told me when I was looking through all the razors that I have, something told me that this was the one that needed to be passed on to the next custodian. Um, it is already in good shape. I'm going to touch it up uh, and shave with it to make sure it's good. Uh, the scales center perfectly. Uh, it's a beautiful razor. It's in not quite NOS condition, but pretty close. So anyhow, so that's the giveaway for 1300 a CV Helgestrand MK30, and it's a one of a kind. There is none out there like this. And of course, it has the etching. I'll show you. It has the etching on the blade. You may not be able to see it very well, but it does have the etching on the blade. So there's the giveaway. I want to thank you guys once again. Uh, we'll see you again for the giveaway next Sunday. But remember those three things that you need to be a part of. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, subscribe to Drinks and Daves. And also be a member of the Shaving Cadre. Then you just put I'm in. So good luck, everybody, and thank you once again uh, for 1,300 subscribers, and our next giveaway will be at 1,500. I'm Barbara Dave. This has been Barbara Dave's. <laughs> this has been Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home and Barbara Dave Shaves and Such. Uh, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next week. Take care.